What's going on guys? This is Damian from the Lookout and welcome to our tier list video for Zenkai 2. Don't skip to the end. You will not understand the context behind placements, okay? So try to watch it and yeah, hit that like and subscribe button. We are on our way to 1500 subs. We are very close and if we get there, we're gonna have an awesome giveaway. Now, roll the video! Card Market is Europe's largest platform for all TCGs. Always find the right cards by buying and selling them across Europe with other players and collectors. Be it singles, boosters, booster boxes or any other accessories, you name it. Card Market is the place to get them safely, securely and readily available. As we told for our tier list videos, we need to explain what different tiers actually mean and how are we looking at the cards on this tier list? So, we are looking at cards as archetypes from the current set. We are not taking the current metagame too much into consideration because with the newest ban list and this set just coming out, it is, you know, a bit of a flimsy ground to judge everything based on like Gogeta Sin and Vegito, but we will try to incorporate that as well. And yeah. Tier 0 OP should be banned, there is only one leader here who is tier 0. Tier 1 meta defining, this one, please listen to me, meta defining is when a leader brings a different deck into the metagame, a different competitive, a new competitive deck into the metagame, that's what meta defining is, or when a leader warps the meta around them. Okay. It's important to keep that in mind because we're gonna have like some choices in meta defining. Uh, tier 2, very good, very high competitive decks. Tier 3, low casual decks. So like these are, you know, I'm gonna maybe win locals with this, but I'm probably never gonna talk with them. And tier 4, actual trash. So yeah, let's start, shall we? Oh my god, it's already morning. <laughs> like this is what happens when you cannot make up your mind, but... Anyway, let's try again. So, for you for the first time. So, we're starting with red. The Saiyan Trio. Um, I, I have some things to say about this one. This one feels like Red Jiren from set 14. Because, you know, it's a red EX Evolve deck. Your EX Evolve on your one drops. But it feels so much weaker. Like... Red Jiren had a way to cheat out one drops, m more one drops than what this guy does, like more consistently, a lot of them. Uh, they had good benefits when you play them, like you either draw or you search for your EX Evolve targets. There were, in my opinion, better than one drops here. Then you had a free EX Evolve onto the four drop. Here you pay for everything. 4-drop removes something, then you had the 5-drop for 1 energy, which was phenomenal, it had amazing protection, and then you had a boss monster that was infinitely better than this one. This boss monster is super clunky, because it's like, yeah, you need to have 5 battle cards in your drop, but you also want to put battle cards into your Z energy, you are also bringing your battle cards back with Vegeta cards, so it's just... It's clunky. It's clunky, basically. And I don't think that the payoff is good enough. Uh, the Z leader is amazing. 45k double strike Z leader that can also wipe the board is very, very strong. That one is amazing. But the rest of the deck is just... Nah. Nothing has protection at all. Uh, you have, I think, actually one of the best cards is the mini boss monster the one that ju that is a 20k for one energy and next something by minus 30 and even that guy is like 20k single strike no protection four drop so yeah the the ex evolve targets are um vegeta gets stuff from your drop and he removes himself he doesn't even replace himself he just gets things into her hand uh, Trunks is a 19k blocker with nothing else. Like, okay, he can restand after swinging, that's fine. 
and then the only good one is Goku because Goku nags something. So Trunks, Vegeta, Goku, all of them are only Goku is good. I I don't feel this deck. I honestly like these are my extended thoughts on this deck. Um, I don't feel it. I, I think this is super weak. The boss monster is awful. The Z leader is amazing, but he doesn't compensate for the boss monster being awful. So um, yeah, I don't think that it is actual trash. I don't. I don't think that it's even a very good deck. So yeah, definitely not one of these two. So this is tier three low casual decks. I expect to see this one at locals that someone will try to experiment with this one. But other than that, like, no, and like, no, th this is bad. Uh, next on our list, Android 13. Okay, so taking into consideration the ban list that just happened. Uh, Android 13 is definitely the much better deck out of the two red decks. It's definitely the much better one. It has consistent free plays. It has ways to punish your opponent like okay i'm either drawing or i'm removing stuff it has recursion it has a decent boss monster no not boss monster uh z z leader i'm not sold on the z leader uh but like, because it requires a lot to gain double strike so i'm not super sold on that one but okay uh a good thing is that you can combine him with cards in other colors, which is amazing, because he's not, he a lot of his effects aren't color locked, so that's cool. Um, he has a boss monster with a very unique but very significant protection from Saiyans. And uh, another thing is that he has a very, very good villainous card. Vilna's card really bumps this up a bit. So I'm thinking like this. Android 13 is definitely going to be the next red deck to play at the very, very early days of the metagame. So if we're looking at like super, super early days of the metagame, then Android 13 is like here. Because this is the deck that everyone is going to flock to, like everyone who wants to try out, you know, a, comp a semi-competitive red deck from the newest set. It's a strong deck. It's really a strong deck. However, it will get ran over by Gogeta, Sin and Vegito. I think all of these are going to get ran over by Gogeta, Sin and Vegito. Like none of these decks actually stand a chance against them. But the thing is that Android 13 will show up early and then people who want to play red will just kind of go back to Gogeta, Sin and Vegito and then Android 13 is just going to fall into obscurity. It's still going to be a super strong red deck. I'm not saying that this deck is going to be weak by any standards but it's not going to be meta defining it's not going to warp the meta around it it's not going to be the next you know deck in the competitive meta game because it's just it unfortunately it's a red deck and a red deck suffers because free decks are infinitely better than anything else so it goes into tier two now please don't consider tier two to be you know like something bad Okay, because tier zero is usually a joke, you know, like nothing is really tier zero. A uh, tier one is, you know, like as I've said, it needs to either warp the meta or it needs to bring a very powerful deck into the meta. So it's gonna be like, okay, this is the next red deck that's seeing play at some competitive tables, probably topping some events. That's tier one. Tier two is everything that's good but just isn't in that category so all of these decks in tier 2 are still going to be very very good decks like super good decks tier 3 yeah self-explanatory tier 4 yeah uh, speaking of tier 1 gohan okay so 
Gohan, oh my god, this was so anticlimactic. I should have talked about this a bit first. Anyway, uh, Gohan is the reason Senzo Bin got Enrata. Gohan and Vegito are the main reasons this happened. But for those who have tested Gohan, these people know what the deck could do when it had Senzo Bin. Because this deck is super super aggressive it looks stupid when you read it it looks funny it's oh my god look at this like stupid mimic mimic gimmick where you have like oh i have free energy and now i'm just gonna lose the game i guess you know like i cannot play boo unison i cannot play big things but when you start building the deck and you realize how aggressive this deck is this deck just shoots out you know one drops super strong one drops he just keeps firing he just keeps restanding energy it's super aggressive i think that this is finally a very very aggressive blue deck that works you we had attempts of very aggressive blue decks and i think this is the one that actually works especially especially because you can you can do a very silly thing in the upcoming meta game and you can actually take shin the one that says oh when you are on, uh, on three or less energy your opponent cannot swing with seven drops seven or more and you can just run four copies in gohan because you will always be able to block your opponent's gogetas and shinron boss monsters and then you have like dirty bursts in case you run run out of them it's a very strong deck uh the hit to senzu bean just makes it so that uh, it's fair now it's a fair deck and you will just need to adjust your playstyle a bit you cannot go hyper offense anymore but that's it you know i think this is going this time blue is getting a meta relevant deck you know it's going to be a deck that you will be seeing at some high tables it's probably not going to warp, warp the meta game around it but it is going to be representing blue in a in a competitive scene basically the other blue deck is uh, go tanks well i went over go tanks uh not here on the channel but this video will come out that video will come out um well go tanks i'm a bit baffled i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit baffled uh when i saw gotenks i was thinking like okay we're gonna get more fusions we are going to get like gotenks featured prominently like in all other gotenks decks we didn't get that that's fine but just going over the deck and it's unisons and what the deck is trying to do and he's honestly underwhelming cards gotenks feels like a starter deck but one of those super early ones like super early ones that like aren't even good because you know the development team is figuring out the game so it's a very early stage starter deck that you like buy at a at an lgs you open it and then you feel scammed you feel like you just wasted your money that's what gotings is He's a scam starter deck, basically. It, it's not good, it's awful, it's, it won't do anything, it's garbage, and it's actual trash. I think this one is actual trash. It's funny, it's funny to play, but I think that this one is actual garbage. It's trash. So, uh, goes into Master Roshi. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying this. Like, uh, last time I put something in trash, I put Master Roshi in there. And then our fan Anino is never going to let me forget about that one. But but this time I'm confident that I'm putting something in trash. So think of it like this. It's either going to be an actual trash or it's going to be like the best blue deck in the game. Gogeta. Gogeta is... I would leave it for a bit later. No. Yeah, let's, let's just do it now. Gogeta is painful. Gogeta is weird, but it is strong. Gogeta is strong. Whoever says that Gogeta isn't strong hasn't played the deck. 
we have a video about how to play Gogeta. Go check it out, it's here on the channel. This deck draws like three to four cards depending on whether or not you're running unisons per turn. So like he draws like crazy. He can generate Z energy like crazy, but he also spends the Z energy to EX evolve and to draw and to do everything else. Not all of its EX evolves are good. The boss monster is a bit meh. The mini boss, the six drop, is a lot better, in my opinion, because it triggers the leader and then you get to draw. However, boss monster pay one, remove something with barrier that's strong. Uh, the Z leader is awful. Uh, don't play the Z leader, play the awakened one. Thank God the awakened one is very, very good. So, I have high hopes for this deck. I have high hopes. I was expecting this deck to be, you know, I thought Bandai is developing Gogeta BR and Broly BR. There is no way that both of them are going to be bad. No way. Then I got disappointed with Gogeta, then I tested it a bit, then I created a video how to play it, and now I'm confident that this is a very good deck. I want, I'm disappointed because I wanted it to be here, but I'm confident that this is a very good deck. Uh, it has its downsides. You basically lose... <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. You basically lose if you're playing against the Super Namekian. You just lost. However, uh, you in that case, you run Promo Chill. Promo Chilled. Uh, you run uh, Fated Rival. Uh, Goku Fated Rival, because you will have a ton of Saiyans in the Z energy. So, yeah, I think Gogeta is actually a very good deck. I am slightly biased on this one. I'm slightly biased. But I think that it is a very good deck. And now I'm disappearing into the sunlight. Because the Danish sun has arrived. And as you can see, it's all consuming. It's consuming everything around me. Uh, give me just one second. Hopefully I can adjust the camera settings. One moment. Haha! Screw you, Danish son! Okay. So, moving on. Broly. Well, this is going to be controversial. But I think Broly... First off, when it comes to the two green decks, Broly is the better one. Broly is hands down the better one. And I have extremely high expectations for this Broly deck. Extremely high expectations. So, um, look at what the deck can do. It's, it's a weird gimmick. He has a very weird gimmick. He doesn't really have a hand. He doesn't really draw things. However, however, he can play... Consistently, he can play the boss monster on turn two and then swing 35k triple strike. While if he went first, you're on one energy and he's swinging 35k triple strike at you. With, with the boss monster that you cannot remove because he has a very weird protection, you cannot even bounce this guy if he has five battle car extra cards beneath him. So, yeah. <coughs> your t <coughs> I'm sorry. Your turn two happens. You not a lot of deck. You probably won't be able to do this, and a lot of decks, I believe, cannot do this. Try to remove this guy from the battle area onto energy twice in one turn. You probably won't be able to do this even once because he's huge. Red probably won't be able to nag this guy. He he's astronomically big. So, um, what happens here is that you don't get to remove him when you turn 2, and then he's turn 3, he's swinging 35k triple strike again. He has an insane villainous card, insane, probably the best villainous card. He can play Limits Transcended, who just doesn't care about token negates, doesn't care about floodgates. If that guy is 35k, I think double strike right and when he swings if you cannot if you cannot counter him and you're on two life it's game it's over 
because the leader has so many extra cards beneath him, you can just give him like plus 30k combo or something like that. You're not uncomboing that unless you're like Gogeta and then you get like 100k. So Broly is going to be meta defining. Broly is going to be the next green deck. He is not going to warp the meta around him. That's not happening, but he is going to be meta defining as in the next meta green deck and i will play the hell out of that one on untap once we start streaming i will master that one this is going to be my go-to deck from now like until forever i guess but now let's switch gears a bit and say like lord slug we recently published how to play lord slug we also published how to play broly for these three decks that we just covered these three leaders we have guides on the lookout go check them out Lord Slug uh, is bad. I think that Lord Slug... Okay, he's not bad, but he's not meta-defining and he's not very, very good. Um, the thing is, he requires an insane amount of hoops to jump through to start going. His Slug chain, his boss monster chain, is bad. It's bad. Uh, however, he has an amazing villainous card... He has great support because he can play the one drop in the Super Namekian and the Angela free drop. All of them are good. All of them. So, and he has a 40k double strike attacker in Z leader, which is terrifying. Like before the before you even start comboing everything else from the hand, he's 40k. So that's scary. This is definitely scary. However, everything still requires a ton of hoops to jump through. It feels powerful, but it feels clunky. So, for that reason alone, tier 3. Uh, I think it's a low casual deck. I think it's strong. Low casual, think of this more as locals. Locals level decks. This guy is going to appear on locals. And he is probably going to be strong at some locals. But like these tier 2 decks, they might break into competitive scenes. They might top some events. Lord Slug isn't one of them. Finally, uh, not finally, but we are filming. The, we have been filming this for quite a while now. 20 minutes. Uh, let's move to Piccolo. Honestly, Piccolo is a reason why I'm refilming. Uh, Piccolo is the reason why I'm refilming this again in the morning. Because originally I put Piccolo in meta defining. But now uh, that I think of it, Piccolo has an amazing Z leader. Z leader is amazing. Piccolo has the very, very insane uh, blue yellow boss monster that he can play. He can play the. I think he can play the Gohan Secret Rare. He has the Piccolo Gohan, the Super Combo Secret Rare that he can play. He has a lot of things going for him. A lot of things. And this is definitely the best Piccolo deck that we have had. Uh, the issue is that I think that everything else in the deck is bad. I think that the rest of the deck isn't as good as those like highlighted things. So... The deck has very powerful highs, but very disappointing middle. So it still require it requires hoops, jumping through hoops to get where you want to get. And I don't think that it feels as rewarding, but it's easier to do that than with slug, and it is more rewarding than slug. Especially once you get that boss monster out, it's crazy. And this deck, you can just play blur yellow blue blue yellow with this guy and it's gonna work so it's strong but it's not meta defining it's a very good deck it's tier two i think objectively i think it's tier two uh, it can run some older superhero cards so that's good the leader is amazing but i don't think that it's one of these like i don't think let's say broly is the next green meta deck I don't think that Piccolo is the next yellow meta deck. So for that reason, he's going into tier 2. And finally, finally, the only tier 0 deck 
in the entire on the entire tier list is magenta magenta is listen to me guys like I, i'm i'm not trolling you here listen to me magenta is crazy magenta is just insane like he's just a guy you know he he's a guy in a purple suit with the most powerful item in dragon ball franchise a gun he has a gun and he uses this gun to gather all the villains from dragon ball movies all 20 something of them and then force them out to do battle for him like think of this think of it this way he's he's the leader of the villainous deck all other villains are listening to what magenta has to say and if they you know give him shit if they're like hey we're not going to go and do battle for you the guy just like points a gun at them you pay one energy and he's like what did you say beerus what did you say golden frieza bro you, you don't want to work for me and then he just forces them to to the battle area like magenta is like the biggest villain in dragon ball i mean all other villains are listening to him he gathered all of them so and he has a gun and the purple suit so i don't know which one is more is more terrifying the gun or the purple suit but magenta is tier zero like broly broly is tier one broly is listening to magenta so ju just keep that in mind so yeah this is the ban list well oh, jesus christ it's not the ban list it's the tier list yeah this is the tier list that's it for the video let me know in the comments below what did you think of this tier list do you agree with it do you disagree with it i love reading all of your comments i try to respond to everything i love our little community and hit that like and subscribe button we are on our way to 1500 subs we're gonna have a giveaway and hopefully we reach it before the european finals on the 26th of november this has been damien from the lookout and i'll see all of you in the next video